So it's 10 p.m. The entire RV park lost power. Actually, it looks like most of the island lost power because even the towers are out except for the emergency lights. And here we are watching Caesar Milan and my laptop is uploading a video. Yep. This is why we have power on board. <laughs> hey, this is Dan, Jessa, and Braxton. Oh, and Pepper. And in 2019, we did a complete rebuild of our vintage travel trailer and hit the open road. Join us on one of our adventures as home meets road. We have evidence of pepper being on the table. Dun, dun, dun. She's trying to run. Actually, no, she's just chasing. Our dog cat, our cat dog. Our cat our dog, dog, dog cat. That is a cat. Yes, we use a horse whip to entertain our dog. In the dog world, it's called a flirt hole. Ah, uh, I call it a whip. And hey, come, come check out my house. Nice. Come. All right, good morning. It is Vlogmas 23, right? Yeah, 23. Those will go out tomorrow, so 20. Yeah. Vlogmas 23! Oh my goodness. Um, so, yeah, we lost power last night for. The whole island. The whole island lost power it was last beautifully night. Beautifully dark. Yes, it was amazing. Um, like I always say to anybody that comes here to Isla Blanca Park, uh, power and water is never guaranteed. Um, it's a luxury and just be prepared. We've got plenty of onboard power, so it's not an issue for us. You can see the walking from here. Oh, yeah. However, last year during the polar vortex, we had no power for like five days, something like that. Um, and we had to go out and get a generator. And it reminded me that I probably should do an oil change on that thing, because you know, it's been a year. So we are running to the store real quick. I'm gonna grab some oil so we can do an oil change on the generator. And we're grabbing an apple pie because we're going to put an apple pie in our smoker. Yes, you heard that correct. We are going to have a party there. What? We're not having a party. We're trying, we're trying to make it to the beach today, Braxton. It is a beautiful day. Mommy's ear is still hurting. So painful. Um, but I'm gonna take this opportunity real quick and answer Rhonda's question. Uh, Rhonda asked why some full timers drive a drivable RV, so an RV that has an engine, and tow their daily driver versus others like us. Have a big truck and then tow our RV, so a trailer. And honestly, this has been a kind of a video I've been wanting to do a long time, but I don't know if I'm even qualified to talk about all the different types of RVs there are and the pros and cons to all of them. Um, long story short, it comes down to preferences. Uh, when we looked at RVs, we really did consider class A's, B's, C's, Super especially C's. Super C's. <laughs> um, again, if all that sounds confusing, let me know and I'll make a video about it. But those are the, the major ones that are drivable. So you have an RV that actually has an engine and it will propel itself. And then you tow something behind. Um, the number one pro for us on something like that would have been that we could have a smaller daily driver, like... <laughs> Literally, coincidence, a... right there. Um, like a Wrangler, uh, like a Jeep Wrangler, uh, which is one of the number one vehicles chosen to be a... Um, a tote, a tow behind. 
uh, vehicle because A, they are extremely lightweight, B, they are towable for down, meaning you don't need a dolly or a trailer or something like that. You can truly put those into neutral and the drivetrain does not get damaged by you pulling it behind something. Um, and they are very lightweight. Depending on what model you choose, you can get under 5,000 pounds, which 5,000 pounds is usually what most uh, RVs are rated at to tow. So the, the main reason why we actually considered for a very long time to go with a Super C is because it would be able to go anywhere we wanted to and we could buy a awesome off-road vehicle like a Jeep Gladiator for example and we could go off-roading and do more things and it would be easier to park especially easier than parking this dually <laughs> that's for sure um, but they are very expensive those RVs are very expensive because you're buying another vehicle you're buying another engine another transmission and all that and with that comes more problems right the, what happens if that breaks down and one of the other things I was looking at what happens when you need an oil change you need a service or something like that then you got to take your an entire RV in to get worked on and if it breaks down you need one big gigantic um, tow rig to to get yourself out of a trouble um, out of the trouble so Long story short, that is one of the huge cons for a drivable and why we opted to go with the trailer. Um, well, that as well as we prefer this. Yes, yeah. Uh, type of driving. We prefer this type of driving. We prefer sitting in our truck on a drive, on a drive day, on a move day. Um, it's much more comfortable in our opinion. We don't hear dishes rattling in the background. That would drive us crazy. That would drive me insane. Um, the other thing too is that you are very limited on floor plans in a drivable because the front end is, well, the cockpit. It, it is the driver's seat. And so you really can't have a full living room or a full bedroom in the front versus with a travel trailer or a fifth wheel there are options right you have a front end you have a rear end and you can do different types of floor plans um, a lot of full-time families go with fifth wheels specifically just because a they tow really nice they have a lot of room and the floor plans, there are a lot of floor plans to choose from where it just works when you have more than two or three humans living in a small rig. But yeah, the number one thing why we wanted to go with a travel trailer is if we break down, I can just go and grab another truck. I can call another full-time family and say, hey, <laughs> I need a dually. Anybody around? And there we go. I hope that answers the question. If you have more questions, which you probably do, because I'm already confused, <laughs> let me know. And uh, let's go. Let's uh, go across the bridge. Yeah, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll make a specific video about this. I'm not gonna get around to doing this during Vlogmas, so I'm gonna explain it real quick. So this is a Kurt harness that goes in for uh, trailer wiring to add your own plug. This is going to allow me to go into the factory wiring and basically create a secondary plug that I can butcher up and do whatever I want to. So these wires, this is going to get butchered up and this is going to go to here, which is going to be a distribution block that's going to be waterproof underneath the truck, which is going to separate out my brake lights, my reverse lights, um, turn signals, all of that. 
and this is a control module that actually separates the brake from the turn because on an on an rv and especially on an rv plug those are combined into one so you need to be able to separate them back out again so that's going to go in here and then i can do whatever lights i want on the truck if i want reverse lights great if i want turn signals great if i want brake lights great and these are some of the ones that are going to go on the back of the truck so we will see how this goes but this is basically my christmas present to myself and i probably won't get to wire this in until january Merry Christmas. Ho, Merry ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right. I think we are finally ready for the beach. Uh, one quick update on Starlink. That's, uh, I got my bill the other day, and I'm looking at the bill, and it says South Padre Island, which is weird because our... Yes, we are on South Padre Island, but the address I'm using is 15 miles away. So I looked up the GPS coordinates that show as our service address and sure enough, it is Isla Blanca Park. I don't remember changing that. And then I checked and our speed is insane and we haven't had any issues whatsoever. Braxton, you do realize that I'm recording with this arm and you're shaking the camera, right? So anyway, I don't know what happened. I don't know if... Uh, Starlink caught on and somehow just Let's decided to change to our address. I watch you bow your head each day. It's a little Things that make you feel this way Don't let their words fill you up with doubt Lift your head and watch your dreams branch out Don't you give up